What's up guys? Today we are going to be mounting my new spoiler on my FRS. So here's the new spoiler. Um, it actually came very well packaged. This is the CFW spoiler from Mod Bargains. Um, yeah, I got all the packaging torn off of it right now and some tape stuck to it. But anyway, it has some bolt holes in the bottom, which from the looks of it, it lines up with the factory BRZ bolt holes, but I have an FRS that didn't come with a wing on it, so I don't have any holes, so I'm going to have to drill some in. So we are going to go over that, but let's go out and take a look at the car. So here's the car. What I have on it right now is just a TRD spoiler. I think it's a replica from eBay. Previous owner put it on here. Um, it's not on there very well. It's actually starting to come off a little bit. So, kind of see it's like raised right there and down here, and uh, I can kind of get my fingers underneath it. So the first thing that we need to do is rip this off, and then we're going to have to figure out where to drill the holes for the, the bolts for the new one. Um, the new one also didn't come with all the hardware, it just came out with two out of the four, which I'm not really too sure why, but we're going to get that taken care of. We're just going to rip this one off first. So like I said, it wasn't stuck on very well, so it was pretty easy to take off. And honestly, this car looks pretty good without a spoiler. I don't know if I've like ever even seen one without a spoiler. Maybe I just don't pay attention, but I mean, it's dirty, obviously, but man, this thing doesn't really need a duckbill on the back of it, even though I do like them and I'm happy with the spoiler I got. But yeah, that's pretty cool looking without it. All right, so here it is on the car. It looks pretty sweet. The fitment is not perfect. Um, it will look pretty good once it's bolted down, but I noticed that if I put this all the way to the edge here and this to the edge so it's not overlapping at all, like if the, the top part is perfect, the fangs are a little bit off in the back. This one's over to the left more, and then, uh, um, well, both of them are over to the left more, but there's like a little bit of a gap right here between the seam and the wing, and then this side overlaps it so it is a little bit crooked i don't really think anybody's going to notice but i do need some help putting this on so i'm going to wait for my dad to get back he's going to help me in the meantime i'm just going to go ahead and wash the car i do think that some of these scratches from the previous wing are going to show so i'm probably going to wheel out the trunk at least this back part of the trunk to try to get those scratches out as much as possible okay so we held that on the car to where it needed to be and put pieces of tape to mark the edges and then we measured the holes on the inside of there and marked the measurements where to drill. We just have to double check it. So what we ended up doing instead is getting little set screws like that and just screwing them into the holes on the edge there. And then we just pushed them onto the tape. You can see our marks are a little bit off that we made, but pretty close on this side. You can see there's the hole. There's the spot that we have to drill, and then on this side, there's the spot that we have to drill. So this is actually the way that I would recommend doing it. So I never recorded the end of that video, but here's what the car looks like with the spoiler on it. I have uh, snow tires on it now because it's winter, but um, yeah, man, I love this. This spoiler is awesome. I just got a car wash and there's frozen water all over the car, but uh, you get the you get the idea. I've had this on here for maybe for maybe like four months or something like that, and I just think it looks really good. It's holding up well. The clear coat's good, even like in the Michigan winter with all the salt and everything. It all looks great. God, it's freezing cold out there. Ugh. So anyway, um, yeah, I would definitely recommend that spoiler. I'll put a link to it in the description below. Make sure that if you like the video, you give it a thumbs up. Uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel. That would be awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.